Hey, good Monday morning, everyone. It's Eric here with a quick video blog for you here on the 16th day of July. We're getting started with a new work week and we have a few challenges ahead of us today. So I wanted to bring you up to date on what to expect. Could be a pretty stormy late afternoon and evening across the region. It's not stormy this morning if you need to, to mow, even though everyone's grass is getting a little bit crispy and brown. But if you do need to mow or do anything outdoors today, I think you're fine for the rest of the morning. The radar uh, remains quiet, although it is very, very soupy out there. Let me bring up the uh, dew points. The atmosphere is full of moisture. The dew points are up close to 70 in most spots this morning, so it's really a Florida-like feel to the air this morning, and that'll help to fuel some of our potential storms later on today. So let's talk about the uh, risk for thunderstorms today. The uh, Storm Prediction Center, part of the National Weather Service, does have northern Ohio, northwest PA, and what's called a marginal risk, which is towards the lower end of the severe weather risk scale means there could be some stronger storms here and there this afternoon, but we're not expecting any sort of big severe weather outbreak. But when we're under a marginal risk, that, uh, that means we just need to be a little bit weather aware as there could be a few stronger cells out there this afternoon. Let me show you uh, one of our models here. This is our highest resolution short range model. It's updated once an hour and does a pretty good job in a lot of circumstances, sometimes not so much. but. For the most part, it, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a nice tool for us to have in our tool belt uh, when we're talking about the short term, the next 12 to 18 hours. Well, it has the uh, radar starting to light up as we go into the mid to late afternoon. This is 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this afternoon. A scattering of showers and storms, perhaps most numerous, uh, closer to I-77. As we get into the evening, it has a couple of showers and storms rumbling through. And it looks to stay pretty active all the way up through perhaps 9, 10, 11 o'clock this evening before things start to wind down as we head through the uh, through the overnight tonight. So I think the most active period is for our viewing area, for our television viewing area, is likely to be this evening. But even as early as mid to late afternoon, there could be some renegade hit or miss um, thunderstorms around the region. So something to, uh, to watch out for. After we get done with the showers and storms first thing tomorrow morning, wow, what a nice forecast for, for a couple of days. The dew points will come down Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday. I mean, this is a perfect summer day coming up on Wednesday as a big bubble of high pressure builds across our cold front as well off to our east and looks just spectacular. Wednesday and Thursday should be a pretty good day as well. Today's going to be our last really hot and humid day for a while, I think, although we might see a quick spike in temperatures late in the work week. Uh, we, we'll probably approach 90 again today, but the pattern, and I, I talked about this quite a bit last week in my blog post videos and even on TV, the pattern as we go through the last, say, 10 days of July does not look all that hot at all by July standards. A lot of seasonable days in through here, and that means there'll be plenty of days with highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s, but we're going to be hard-pressed to squeeze out an 88 or 90 degree day with high humidity like we're going to have today in the kind of pattern that we have coming up. So some good news if you're a little tired of the heat and humidity and you want to save some money on your, uh, your energy bills. Uh, air conditioners probably won't be working as hard later on this month. I'll of course have more updates on the threat for thunderstorms as we go through the day today and I will see you tonight on 21 News at 6 and 11.